KLBK's Grace Moore spoke to a few local pediatricians about concerns surrounding the Delta variant. There certainly is growing concern, Matt and Terry, among pediatricians surrounding the Delta variant. And while kids are at lower risk for severe illness due to COVID, there isn't quite enough research yet to say for sure if that's the same for the Delta variant, leaving many parents unsure of how to handle this upcoming year. There's a lot of discussion around school reopening. Um, and a lot of anxiety, I'm sure, around school reopening. As the first day of school approaches, many parents are faced with growing concern about the year ahead. We're concerned that we may see an uptick in cases. According to the CDC, while children are less likely than adults to develop severe illness because of COVID-19, they are still at risk for developing severe complications from the virus. But pediatricians say there's still a lot we don't know about how the Delta variant affects kids. They say there is some evidence suggesting kids are also lower risk for severe illness from the Delta variant, but that doesn't mean folks shouldn't worry about the coming school year. We should be very concerned because Delta variant is something that spreads easier. The risk is low for kids as far as serious illness. Um, it still is present. They can still be the ones that spread it. The CDC and the American Academy of Pediatrics both recommending indoor masking for all students. I think it's I think it's worthwhile. I think nothing should have changed as far as our safety precautions. But Governor Greg Abbott banning schools from imposing any mask mandates, leaving it up to the individual to decide, something that's left parents and doctors concerned. Just because it's not as high risk as somebody like me or uh, an older person getting COVID, it's still a risk. Nobody wants their kid to be at risk. And all stressing that for those who are able, it's important to get vaccinated. We are not powerless. We can do something here. We can be good models for our kids. If you choose to send your child to school with a mask, pediatricians recommend a multi-layer cloth mask or just a basic surgical mask. They also mentioned making sure to keep your kids home from school if they show any signs of sickness at all. All of these tips can significantly decrease your child's risk and others' risk of exposure.